Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's time for Stratomatic Baseball. Spokane Steve with you, and we've got a 1966 replay game today. The Washington Senators at the Kansas City Athletics. This is the second of a three-game series between these two clubs. Mike McCormick, the left-hander, will be on the mound for the Senators. Catfish Hunter, the righty, the young Catfish Hunter. 20 years old this season. Anyway, Hunter on the mound for the Athletics. And greetings to Kenyon Gray. Hope your day is going well. As we get settled in here for another game of Stratomatic. Let's take a look at these pitchers. These teams pretty evenly matched coming in. You've got the Senators at 8-9, and nine, Kansas City 9-9. Nine and nine. Uh, that would put Kansas City five games back of the first place Baltimore Orioles. Wait a minute. No, that isn't true. Let me correct that. It's the Senators who are five games back. The Athletics are four and a half games back. The numbers in the replay so far for McCormick, he's made four starts, two relief appearances. He's one and three with a 3.34 ERA, one complete game. He's worked 23 innings, allowed 24 hits. Catfish started off 3-0, and you might remember. He's 3-2 and with a 3.07, five starts, three of them complete games, however. 41 innings pitched, 35 hits, 27 strikeouts. And hello, Franklin, and welcome. Just getting underway here. So I'll get you the lineups, and then we'll get things going. 52 mostly cloudy in Spokane. It feels colder than that. I have to say, I was outside a while ago. For the Senators, Fred Valentine will lead off in center field. Don Blassen game at second today, batting second. Ken McMullen in the three spot at third base. Frank Howard, of course, batting cleanup in left field. Jim King, the right fielder, hits fifth. Dick Nan at first base, bats sixth. Eddie Brinkman, steady Eddie at short in the seventh spot. Jim French will do the catching. This is a placeholder, of course. For the computer-only Jim French card, left-handed hitting catcher. And McCormick, a pretty good hitting pitcher, batting ninth. The Athletics defensively will have Ken Suarez behind the plate catching hunter. Ken Harrelson's at first, Green and Campaneras up the middle. And Ed Charles at third base. The outfield, Hirschberger in left, Jose Tartable in center, and Ozzy Chavaria in right. It would appear to be a pretty even matchup on the surface. Um, one thing I noticed looking at some of the breakdowns, and keep in mind these stats, it's such a small sample size, I don't even really know how much it means at this point, but so far, Kansas City has hit left-handed pitching pretty hard, while Washington has struggled against right-handed pitching. That would appear to favor Kansas City. But as we know so well, <laughs> in, any, in one game, anything can happen. So we're about ready to go here. Hunter's completed his warm-ups. Fred Valentine steps in now. Switch hitting outfielder, batting left-handed. He's batting a cool 300. Leads the ball club in home runs with five and runs batted in with 10. So here's Valentine, Hunter into the windup. The windup and the first pitch is going to be a 5-5 lefty swung on and missed strike three. Oh my goodness, and we are underway. Strikeout by Catfish Hunter. The young 20-year-old at this point, Catfish Hunter. Here's Blassen game now. Blassen game hasn't played that much. He's been in nine ball games. Six for 32, that's 188. He does not have a run batted in. Left-handed hitter. And the pitch from Catfish. 6-5 to the lefty. It's a grounder to shortstop X. That's going to be Campy, 3-E-23 down there. Campaneris ranges into the hole. And here's the play on a 7. Nice stop and long throw across in time. And Blasting Game is out. So 6-3-X, fine play, Campy Campaneris. 
Oh, you can see some of the pieces in place here that what would become the, the Oakland A's dynasty of the early 70s, team I remember very well. Here's McMullen now. Ken McMullen hitting 229, three homers, seven RBIs, right-handed hitting third baseman. Hunter set now. The wind-up to Christian McMullen is a 2-9 right-handed base hit up the middle. So a solid single up the middle for McMullen. And he's aboard for Frank Howard. Howard batting 328 on the season, yet surprisingly just one home run so far. Eight runs batted in. McMullen takes his lead. Hunter working from the stretch. The pitch for Howard. 1-3, he draws the walk. A two-out walk to Howard puts runners at first and second. And here's Jim King now, the left-handed hitting outfielder. King's been playing more lately. He's only been in 12 ball games. He's 5 for 22. Four of those five hits, however, are home runs, and he has nine RBIs. So Hunter, that's outside for a ball. Hunter being careful with King. Now comes set. The next offering is a 5-11. It's a deep fly ball to right field. Chivari has to back up just shy of the track and puts that one away. And that will retire the side. No runs to hit, two left on. That long fly ball by King excited the crowd momentarily, but it was just a loud out to right. And Franklin... Thank you, Franklin. <laughs> That's from a show or a movie, the intonation of that. I mean, many people obviously have said thank you over the years, right? But uh, thank you, thank you. No, it's the Big Lebowski. Phone's ringing, dude. Thank you, Donnie. My all-time favorite movie, by the way, and it's not even really close. Here's the Kansas City lineup. I almost said Oakland. Campy Campaneris leads off at short. Jose Tartable in center bat second. Tartable carries a 10-game hitting streak into the ballgame. Dick Green at second base hits third. Ed Charles in the cleanup spot at third base. Ken the Hawk Harrelson at first base, batting fifth. Mike Hirschberger's in left field today, hitting sixth. Asi Chavaria in right, hit seventh. Suarez will do the catching in bat eighth with Catfish Hunter hitting ninth. <clears throat> Washington will have French, of course, catching McCormick. Dick Nan at first. Is it Dick Nan? Yes, it is. Blasson Game and Brinkman up the middle. Ken McMullen at third in the outfield left to right of Frank Howard, of Valentine, and King. So here's Campy now. Campy comes into the game hitting 238, one home run, 10 RBIs. Pretty impressive 10 RBIs from the leadoff spot. In what, 18 games? So here's Campy, McCormick the lefty, winds and deals. That's going to be a 6 7 right handed. Grounder to second base X. That'll be Blasting Game. Blasting Game's a 40 14. As he ranges behind the bag, here's the play on a 17. Nice stop, Blasson game, turns and fires, and Campy is retired. Four, three, X, Campanaris is down, and here comes Tartable now. As mentioned before, he's got a 10-game hitting streak. He leads the club in batting at 403. And he has 12 RBIs despite not having a homer. Six doubles, two triples. Fine season so far from the center fielder. Left on left, however. And here's the pitch on a 1-9. That's going to be a tapper down to first base. And then will take it himself. And there's two away. And here's Dick Green. Green, the second baseman. Fine defensive second baseman, comes in at 275, one home run, 11 RBIs. <coughs> Excuse me. McCormick, the windup, and the first to green. That's going to be a 2 6 against the lefty, and that's a ground ball right up the middle and into center field for a base hit. Two out single for green. 
And that'll bring Charles to the plate. A non-asterisk 4, 17 with a lead of, a number to get the lead, I should say, a 4 for green. Let's check the battery. McCormick, a minus 1. French, however, a plus 2. So he'd be an 18. They won't hold him because he has such a minuscule chance of getting the lead, but he's going to try for it. He needs a 4. And, of course, he does not get it. Not all that surprising. And here's Charles now. Charles comes in at 313, eight runs batted in. McCormick staring in now, working from the stretch. He puts to Ed Charles, a 1-5, and he walks him. Green down to second, so much like the top of the first, with two outs, a single, and a walk. And here's Hawk Harrelson now. Harrelson, the first baseman. Batting 278. He only has one run batted in. And he's usually been hitting in the middle of the lineup, so that's a little strange. Looking to pick one up here. McCormick looking to slam the door on this inning, and here's the pitch. That's going to be a 5 10 to the right hander. Flight of center field and shallow. Here comes Valentine racing in and just does catch up with it and makes the catch to retire the side. No runs a hit, two left. And we are scoreless after one. How about that? Who would have predicted that? Scoreless after one. <laughs> Who would have thunk? Catfish getting loose to go to the second. Nan and Brinkman and French do up. Give me a minute here to get another drink of water. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> All righty. Dick Nan will lead it off. Nan hitting just 0-48, 1 for 21. He does have one RBI, however. So his lone hit resulted in a run batted in. And here's the pitch from Catfish. That's going to be a 1-8 right-handed. Swung on and missed strike three. And down goes Nan. And here's Eddie Brinkman. Brinkman, the shortstop. Brinkman hitting 246 coming into the ball game. One homer, seven RBIs. Hunter gets the sign from Suarez now. Here's the windup and the pitch to Brinkman. That's going to be a 4 2 right handed. Base hit into right field. Brinkman goes the other way with it. And he's on with a one out single. Brinkman a star 15 stealer. Let's check the uh, Kansas City battery. Hunter a zero. Suarez, however, a horrible defensive catcher. Just look at that. 4E16 with a plus three arm. Holy crap. So that would make Brinkman an 18. He's going to have to be held on, making him a 16. Of course, with the 8 and 10 automatic caught, that's what? That's 8 out of... Uh, that's 8 out of 36 he would be caught automatically, so he will not be going for it. Jim French will be the hitter. That's card just a placeholder, of course. Here's French, computer-only card, left-handed hitting catcher. He is just one for eight. He's only been in three ball games. He's walked twice. As you can see by the card, that's really what he's good at, drawing a walk. Hunter, a look over at Brinkman. Now it comes from the stretch. The pitch to French is a 2-11, and that's a foul out to the catcher. So foul ball behind the plate. Suarez back, makes the play. And there's two down. And that'll bring up McCormick. McCormick, a left-handed batter. He's a seven-hitters card with N power, so he can swing the bat a little bit. As Brinkman takes his lead, Hunter delivers. 3-10, swung on and missed strike three. So good hitting pitcher or not, he's still a pitcher. <laughs> Two Ks in the inning, three in the game now for Catfish. No runs to hit one left, and we're still scoreless. And welcome to Jeffrey Guterman. McCormick gets loose for the bottom of the inning. 
Hershberger, Chavaria, and Suarez do. Mike Hershberger, he's been playing a little more recently, hitting 236, one homer, eight RBIs. McCormick, the lefty, gets the sign from French. Here's the pitch to Hershberger on a 1 4. It's a fly ball into right field. Drifting over is King, and he'll grab that one for the first out. Ossie Chavaria due up now. Chavaria hitting 257. No homers, three RBIs. McCormick, the lefty, staring in to get the sign from French. Now the wind up and the pitch to Chavaria, a 4 7 to the righty. A tapper down to shortstop. Brinkman's all over it. Throws across to Nen. Two down. Brinkman making it look easy at shortstop, which he so often did, a fine defensive shortstop. And here's Suarez, the catcher. Suarez just 152. He's 5 out of 33 so far. Does not have an RBI. Well, looking at the card, especially against right-handers, it's not hard to see why. And here's the pitch from McCormick. It's going to be a 3-5. Swung on and missed strike three. And down goes Suarez. And down go the Athletics. 1-2-3 inning for McCormick. And just like that, we're scoreless through two. As advertised, pitchers duel so far. We'll have the top of the order for Washington in the third. Valentine, who struck out to lead off the game against Catfish Hunter. Hunter gets the sign from Suarez now. Here's the windup and the pitch to Valentine. It's going to be a 5-5 to the lefty. Swung on and missed strike three. Down goes Valentine again. One away, and here's Blassen Game. Blassen Game grounded to short his first time up today. Hunter into the one. Here's the pitch. It's going to be a 3 7, and he walks him. Ball four. A one out walk to Blassen Game, the second free pass issued by Catfish today. Blassen Game not a threat to steal. Which one, Franklin? Please share with us. <laughs> Not that I would have heard of it, but some of the other guys may have. Ken McMullen will be due up now. He's singled in the first inning. Blasting Game takes his lead from first. Hunter gets the sign. Working from the stretch now. Oh, and that's going to be a 2-8 against the right-hander. That's a comebacker. Hunter has it down to Campy. 2 Harrelson not in time. That's going to be a force. That's going to go 1-6. Blasting game forced. And McMullen's at first base with 2 down. And here comes big Frank Howard. Once again batting 328, but with only one home run. Not one of his better seasons. He only hit 18 in real life, which that would have to be considered a down year by Howard's standards, wouldn't it? McMullen takes a cautious lead. Hunter comes to the plate. 6-9, righty, a triple to three, and would you take a look at that? Holy cow, that is down. That's bouncing around in center field, rolls away from Tartable, chasing it down. Here comes McMullen to score. Howard headed for third. The throw. He's in there. Howard with his blazing speed. An RBI triple with two outs. Holy cow. Let's take another look at that one. Six, nine right-handed. Triple to three. Indeed, it is a three. And how about that? A triple for Frank Howard. Not surprisingly, his first triple of the year. And here's King. Howard at third, two down. Left-handed batter. Hunter a check of the runner. Now the wind-up and the pitch. It's going to be a 1-3. Pops him up. 
right side, green, makes the catch, and that will do it. The Senators, however, pick up a run on a hit, an unlikely triple by Frank Howard, and they lead it one to nothing. I saw that, Kenyon. Yeah, quite a few the last few days. We had Holtzman, Erskine, and Whitey Herzog. Herzog, of course, known as the White Rat, had those go-go royal teams of the 70s. And then, of course, as the combination manager and GM of St. Louis, that to me was the most impressive thing. What he did with that team but prior to the 82 season, that was, that was textbook team building. It really was. And they won it all. It all his moves all worked out. That, does, that part doesn't always happen. You can make the right moves and not necessarily have it work out. But what a season. I remember telling everybody that year while he was making these moves, Ozzie Smith, Bruce Souter, Raleigh Fingers, who we then dealt to Milwaukee. Before the season even started, I was saying St. Louis is going to win it all this year. Of course, that was one of the years I failed to put anything down on it. I seem to only uh, wager when it's a losing proposition. That's okay. I quit doing that a long time ago. Athletics coming to bat at the bottom of the third. Here's McCormick. Catfish Hunter will lead it off. He's a right-handed hitter, 2W. The pitch from the lefty is going to be a 2-4. Base hit up the middle for Catfish Hunter. What do you know about that? So the Catfish with a leadoff single. And we'll swing back up to the top of the order here at Campy Campaneris. Campaneris grounded a second his first time up today. McCormick not paying too much attention to Hunter. From the stretch, however, the pitch to Campy, a 1-4 fly ball into left field. That's going to be playable for Frank Howard. Takes a few steps to his left and makes the catch. They had him played almost perfectly. And here comes Tartable. Tartable 0 for 1. Bounce to first in the first. And here's the pitch from McCormick. Left on left, it's going to be a 4-10 fly ball into right field. King backing up a bit and makes the catch for the out. Two down now, and here's Dick Green. Dick Green singled his first time up. McCormick into the windup. Now the pitch to Green is going to be a 5-4 right-handed. Catcher's card X. That's going to be French, a 4-E-8. And here's the roll on the play. It's going to be a 15 pass ball and a foul out. So pass ball to French. That allows uh, Hunter to take second. And then the foul out to the catcher to retire the side. So no runs a hit, one left on. We're through three in Kansas City. One to nothing, Washington. Yeah, and the fitting with, with the passing of Whitey that we'd be playing Kansas City. Different ball club, of course, the Kansas City Royals. I tell you, I still struggle not to call this the Kansas City Royals or the Oakland A's. It's a mental block thing, you know. It comes with age, right? Here's Nen to lead things off in the fourth. Dick Nen struck out his first time up. Hunter into the windup. The pitch is a 3-7 right-handed. It's a fly ball into center field. Tartable drifting to his left and pulls it in for the first out. 
Carnival can really cover some ground out there in center field, let me tell you. And here's Brinkman now. Brinkman singled his first time up. Hunter, the sign from Suarez, and here's the wind-up as a pitch to Brinkman. It's a 5-5 right-handed, swung on and missed strike three. And that's the fifth strikeout for Catfish. He's starting to pile them up now. And with two away, Jim French will be the hitter. So let's get his card in there. French fouled out to the catcher his first time up today. Left-handed hitter. And here's the pitch from Catfish. 5'11 lefty. It's a fly ball to right pretty deep. Backing up is Chavaria. Just shy of the track. Makes the catch to retire the side. It's a 1-2-3 inning for Catfish. I have heard of that one, believe it or not. TV ads, I believe. McCormick gets loose for the bottom of the fourth. He's protecting a one to nothing lead. Charles Harrelson and Hirschberger do for the athletics. So here's Ed Charles now. He walked his first time up. McCormick gets the sign from French. The lines up and the pitch is a 6-7 right-handed. It's a grounder to second base X. That's going to be blasted game again of 4-E-14. And here's the play. On a 16, he's got it and throws him out. So twice blasted game tested on the X chart. And twice he's made the play. Here's Harrelson now. Hawk Harrelson 0 for 1. Batting right-handed. McCormick comes set. Here's the one. Up. Here's the pitch to Harrelson. It's going to be a 2-10 left-handed. It's a two-hopper to second base. Blasson Game will take this one and throw to Nen two down. So a couple of worm killers to second, and that'll bring up Mike Hershberger. Hershberger flew to right his first time up today. McCormick studying the signs, nodding the windup. The pitch to Hershberger is a 3-11 left-handed. Hershberger lines it the other way into right field for a base hit. So a two-out single for Hershberger, and he's got some wheels. Star 16. Again, the combo plus one, so he'd be 17. He'll have to be held on. He'd be a 15. With two outs, he's going to try for it. Needs a five or a six. Five, he's got it. Here's the pitch to Chavaria, one through 15. French's throw. He's out. Oh, ho, ho. nice throw by French. Yeah, that will end the inning. Hershberger gunned down. At second base, a nice throw by Jim French. So no runs a hit, nobody left on. And it's one nothing Senators after four. And welcome to Jimmy Jam. Hope your day's going well, sir. As we move along to the fifth, McCormick will be leading it off the pitcher. Left-handed batter with N power. Hunter gets the sign now. Here's the windup. And the pitch is going to be a 6-5. Lefty, grounder to short X. That's Campy, a 3-E-23. Campaneris into the hole. The roll on the play is a 19. He's got it and throws him out. So nice play, Campaneris. And that's the first out. And here's Fred Valentine now. Valentine has struck out both times against Catfish. Hunter's staring in. Now the windup. The pitch to Valentine on a 1-9. It's a tapper down to first base. Harrelson will take it himself. And two out quickly. And that will bring up Blassen Game, the second baseman. 
0 for 1 with the walk so far. Standing in from the left side, Hunter gets the sign. Here's the winder. The pitch to blast and gave 4 9. That's going to be over the bag and down in the corner in right field. That's going to be extra bases. Blasting game will turn and head into second, and he's in with a stand-up double. Blasting game in scoring position now with two down. And here's Ken McMullen, Frank Howard on deck. Here's Big Frank now, walked and tripled in the game's only run in the third. Sorry, here's McMullen now. What am I saying? I was reading Franklin's uh, description of his game. See what I get? I lose my train of thought. McMullen one for two. Runner in scoring position. Two hopper to short. Bring all over it. Throws to Nen. One down. So twice, Javaria has grounded. It did freeze. Let's see if we're back now. I refreshed mine. There's my hand. Okay, it looks like we are back. Chavaria led off by grounding to short. Nice play by uh, Camp by uh, Brinkman. And here's Suarez, who struck out his first time. McCormick gets the sign. Here's the pitch to Suarez on a 4-4 flight to center field X. That's going to be Valentine. He's a 4-E-8. Hold your breath on this one. Valentine on his horse. E rating. That's going to be a 9 on an E-8. And he catches up with it. Nice running catch by Valentine. Holy cow. 8-X. Suarez is retired. And that's two down. And here's Hunter. Technical issues. <laughs> I'm guessing this was YouTube. I didn't experience any internet outage of any kind. Here's Hunter now. He singled his first time up. McCormick winds and deals. That's a 2-11, swung on, and missed strike three. It's a 1-2-3 inning for McCormick. We're through five in Kansas City. It's Senators one, Athletics nothing. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Here's Hunter now, ready to go to work in the sixth. Game moving very briskly. Again, they'll do that when nobody's getting any hits. Howard King and Nan do for Washington. Big Frank Howard tripled and walked. Hunter gets the sign from Suarez. Here's the lined up to pitch to Frank. 3-8 right-handed. Swung on and missed strike three. Big cut by Howard and down he goes. And for Hunter now, that's his sixth strikeout. And here's Jim King. King's 0 for 2. Left-handed hitter with four home runs on the season. Hunter the line, pitch, two, three, base it up the middle. King with a one-out single. Jim King's aboard, no threat to run. And here's Dick Nen now, left-handed hitting first baseman, 0 for 2 in the game so far. Hunter. 
Throw over to first, king back to the bag. Modest lead now from the stretch. The pitch to Nan is going to be a 5-5 lefty. Swung on and missed strike three. Boy, Hunter has got that K pitch working today. That's two in the inning and seven on the ball game. And here's Brinkman with two down, singled and struck out. Hunter checks the runner now from the stretch. The pitch to Brinkman is a 2-3 right hand, and it's a tapper down to first. Harrelson will take it to the bag, and that will do it. No runs a hit, one left on. So Hunter pitching a gem so far, and yet he's on the short end of it because McCormick is also pitching a gem. Let's check the endurance now. McCormick a six, Hunter a seven. So for McCormick, this will be his first inning of potential fatigue, and he'll be looking at the top of the Kansas City batting order. Campaneris, Tartable, and Green. Campy's 0 for 2 so far. McCormick staring in. The wind up, the pitch to Campy. That's going to be a 4-9 right-handed single to 17, and that's down for a base hit, and it's a leadoff single for Campy, and he's got all kinds of speed. Star 19 Steeler. Again, plus one battery combo 20. He'll be an 18 held on. And you know with a 17 running rating what he's got on his mind. Two through six or 12, he's going to try for that lead. He'll be an 18 if he gets it, and he's got it. Here's the pitch to Tartable. There goes Campaneris. The throw by French. He's stolen it. Stolen base, Campaneris. And for Campaneris, let's take a look. That's his eighth stolen base of the season, and he's yet to be thrown out. Here's the next pitch to Tartable. Tartable's 10-game hitting streak on the line. Left on left, it's a 6-7. Grounder to second base X. That's Blasson game again. Blasson game of 4-E-14. Behind the bag, he's got it and throws him out. Campaneris will take third on the play. Tartable retired, he's 0 for 3. One down, runner at third is the tying run. Dick Green at the plate, Ed Charles to follow, and Washington will pull the infield in. Green, one for two. Fly ball, will tie it. McCormick delivers. 6-5 right-handed. It's a grounder to shortstop X. That's Steady Eddie. He's a 2-E-29. Infield in, remember. And here's the play on a 7. Ground ball B. He throws home and nails back to third the lead runner. They've got him. Oh, my God. They've got the lead man. What a heads-up play there. Eddie Brinkman, holy cow. Brinkman fired to French. Back down, back to McMullen, and they got him. So we're gonna we're gonna score that six two five. Force Campaneris forced. Huge play by Eddie Brinkman. And the infield in saved a run. Now it's green at first, two away, and Ed Charles the hitter. Charles 0 for 1 with the walk. McCormick, the pitch. 5 6 right handed. He pops him up on the left side. It's Brinkman calling for it. Brinkman making the catch, and that will do it. So no runs a hit, one left on. 
And the Athletics waste a huge opportunity there in the bottom of the sixth. And through six complete, it is Senators one, Athletics nothing. And we get ready to move things along to the seventh. Jim French, the catcher, will lead things off. Left-handed hitter 0 for 2 so far. Catfish Hunter gets the sign from Suarez. Here's the running back. The pitch to French, a 6-2 to the lefty. Ground ball to second base. That's Dick Green. Fields it smoothly over to Harrelson. One down. Tough game. McCormick a pretty good hitting pitcher, though, and he's throwing a shutout, so he's going to stay in. Left-handed batter. The pitch from Hunter, a 6-7. Grounder to second base X. That's going to be green. 2-E-19 as Dick ranges behind the ball. On a 6, he's got it. Nice play. Throws him out. So green with a fine play. That's 2 for green this inning. 4-3-X. McCormick retired. And here comes Fred Valentine. Switch hitting outfielder, 0 for 3 today. He struck out twice. Hunter staring in now. Here's the windup and the pitch to Valentine. It's a 6 8 to the lefty. Fly ball to left field. That's going to be playable for Hirschberger, and that will do it. A 1 2 3 inning for Catfish. And tension starts to mount in a one nothing game as we approach the later innings. To the bottom of the seventh we go as we stretch. It is one to nothing Senators. McCormick throwing a jam. Four singles so far and nothing else. And yes, Kenyon, absolutely. Getting in the spirit of things, Mike McCormick. Both of these pitchers have had nice seasons so far in the replay. Here's Ken Harrelson to lead it off for the Athletics. He's 0 for 2 today. McCormick, the sign from French. Now here's the windup. Pitch to the Hawk, a 4 6 right handed. It's a tapper to first. Nan will take it to the bag. One down. And here's Hirschberger now, the left fielder. Don't you think that's kind of funny? I was making out the lineup. You've got Hirschberger with a minus 4 arm in left, Chevaria with a 0 in right. I think all of us would do it the other way, right? But I just write them in as they're printed. Hershberger one for two. McCormick, the one. Pitch to Hershberger, 4-9, right-handed. Single to 17. That's going to be down for a base hit. And Hershberger aboard with a one-out single. Hershberger with good speed. 16-17. He'll be held, making him a 15. And here's Chavaria. Hershberger's going to try for that lead. He was caught stealing. His last time up, Singleton was caught. Tying run. He's going to try for it anyway. Five or four. Five, he's got it, 1-15, to 15. the pitch to Chavaria. There goes Hirschberger, the throw from French, he's stolen it. So big stolen base for Hirschberger. These athletics love to run, as we know. And here's the next pitch. Chavaria. It's going to be a 5-2 right-handed, and he walks him. 
And McCormick may be running out of gas here. Activity now in the Washington pen. Bob Humphreys throwing. The right-hander. As Ken Suarez steps to the plate. One more hitter walk will fatigue McCormick. And now French is going out to the mound. And welcome RJL. So I'm curious, RGL, what is your evening drive? I mean, just briefly, you know. First and second, one away, and here is Suarez. Ken Suarez 0 for 2 today. McCormick staring in now. Here's the pitch to Suarez. It's a 3-4. That's a base hit into center field. Open single. Hershberger rounding. 15. Valentina minus 1. 14. One out. He's going to hold up, believe it or not. No, he's going. He's coming. He's coming. He's coming. 1-14. to A throw from Hershberger. He scores, and the game is tied. So that's an RBI single for Hershberger. Chavaria goes into third. And that will fatigue McCormick. And here comes Hodges now. Catfish Hunter due up. Which is why I sent him. Normally with nobody out. I'm sorry, with one out, I would let the bases be loaded and not make the second, not even have a chance of making the second out of the inning at the plate. A little bit different situation with the pitcher do up. So in comes Humphreys. And there he is. Humphrey's a nice card. McCormick goes six and two thirds. He allowed six hits, just the one run so far. Pitched a great game. He just ran out of gas. Walked a pair. Struck out a pair. And here's Humphreys now. Delay Beach to Deerfield Beach. About how long of a drive is that? Is that a nice drive? Or is there a lot of traffic? I love driving. I, that's why I'm, these kind of things interest me. I don't like driving in heavy, congested traffic, however. Who does, right? Let's see what Humphreys has done in the replay. We know it's a good card. He's been in five ball games, no record, one save, and he has not allowed a run in nine innings of work, only four hits and ten strikeouts. So a very nice beginning to the season for Bob Humphreys. And now with Hunter due up, tie ball game, runners at the corners. What to do with Hunter? Hunter an S7 for endurance. He's pitched seven. You know I hate to, but we're going to have to hit for him here. So Hunter calls it a day after seven innings. He allowed only four hits, one run. He walked a pair. And he struck out. Four, five, seven. How 
more to King N Nen. They did not use any bullpen in real life. Lefty Paul Limblad and righty Jack Aker. Getting loose, and now we will have a pinch hitter against Humphreys. And I tell you, there's not much on this Kansas City bench. Billy Bryan might be a good choice. And they do have two catchers on the bench. That's what they're going to do. They're going to have Billy Bryan grab a bat. Bryan, known for his dramatics so far this season, pinch hitting. He had a walk-off home run in a pinch hitting role earlier in the year. He's batting just 226, 7 for 31, the one home run and three RBIs. Left-handed batter. Runners at the corners. Suarez at first, no threat to run. Well, that's the go-ahead run at third. They're going to pull the infield in here. Humphreys ready to work to Bryan with the infield in. Here's the pitch on a 2-8 right-handed. Struck him out. So Bryan down on strikes. There's two away. And Campy Campaneris will be the hitter. Infield moves back. Campy one for three. Tie ball game now. Humphreys gets the sign. Pitch to Campy on a 1-7. Fly ball into left field. That's going to be playable for Frank Howard. Barely has to move and makes the catch to retire the side. But one run for the Athletics on two hits. They leave a pair. And after seven complete in Kansas City, it's a 1-1 tie. And as Kenyon said, it's up to the bullpens now. And here comes Aker. Aker, the right-hander. Hasn't fared well in the replay. Good card, but he's been in eight ball games. He's 0-1 with five saves, which is among the league leaders in saves. But he has an ERA of 8.22 in seven and two-thirds innings. We've got quite a few Florida guys here. Jeffrey, Franklin, and now RJL. And it'll be Blassen Game, McMullen, and Howard due up for the Senators in the eighth. Both teams have their best relievers, or at least among their best relievers out there. Blassen game, one for three with a double. Sorry, one for two with a double and a walk. I beg your pardon. Aker ready to work now. Gets the sign from Suarez. Here's the windup. Pitch to Blassen game, a 412 left handed as a grounder to first base X. That's Hawk Harrelson, a 4E18. Harrelson to his right. Here's the play on a five. He's not going to get that. That's over the bag and down into the corner. That's going to be extra bases. Blassen game rounds, and he's in there with his second double of the afternoon. Holy cow, and the go-ahead run is in scoring position with nobody out. Ken McMullen do up Frank Howard to follow. The heart of the order for Washington. Tie ball game in the eighth. More action down in the pin. 
Jim Nash has joined Lindblad. Lefty and a righty. Ken McMullen at bat now, one for three today. Aker checks the runner. Now the wind up and the pitch to McMullen is a 6-5. Pops him up left side. That's going to be campy. Infield fly rule and there's one down. And here's Big Frank. Left-handed batter, King on deck. Frank Howard tripled and walked today, one for two. He's knocked in the only run for Washington so far. Runner in scoring position. I'm thinking about what to do here. King and Ben to follow, you could put him on, but then you probably pull Aker and bring in Lindblad. which kind of seems like a wash. I think I'd rather have Aker out there if I'm Kansas City. Okay, so he's going to face Howard. Here's Big Frank now. Aker with the pitch. That's going to be a 2-7. Struck him out. So Howard down on strikes for the second time today. Two away. And here's Jim King. Looking at King and Nan, pretty similar, really. No real advantage to putting King on. King does have four home runs. Nan does not. Nan off to a miserable start. But the card's much better than that, obviously. He's going to pitch to King. Stares at the runner. Now it comes to the plate. It's a 1-6 fly ball into center field. Backing up a bit is Tartable. And he makes the catch to retire the side. So a leadoff double stranded for the Senators. And we go to the bottom of the eighth inning in a 1-1 ball game. Bob Humphrey's coming back out, naturally. It'll be Tartable, Green, and Charles for Kansas City. I have a cousin in Sarasota. I've never been down there. I plan to one day. Here's Tartable now, 0 for 3. Tie ball game in the bottom of the eighth. Humphreys gets his sign. Here's the pitch to Tartable. Ten game hitting streak on the line, and he hits a foul ball behind the plate. French back, drops the mask, and makes the catch. So it looks like Tartable's hitting streak will come to an end at 10. And here's Dick Green now. Of course, the way it's going, he may get another at bat. Green's one for three. Humphreys into the line. Up. Here's the pitch to Dick Green. It's going to be a 5-8. Swung on and missed strike three. Down goes Green. Two down. And Ed Charles will be the hitter. Humphreys into the windup. Pitch to Charles. 1 9. It's a tapper to short. That's Brinkman. Scoops it up on the run, throws, and gets him. 1 2 3 inning for Humphreys. And we are in a 1 1 deadlock after eight innings complete here in Kansas City. Before I get any further, Franklin, that reminds me I had a 1982 replay game this morning where I had a pitcher take a no-hitter into the ninth. He was fatigued after eight. And I let him go until he gave up a hit. It was a pitcher named Chris for the San Francisco Giants. I have to look up his first name. Mike Chris. He only worked 26 innings that season in real life. And he carried a no-hitter into the ninth.
Jack Aker will pitch the ninth for Kansas City. And Jeffrey's 69 game is on about a half an hour from now. New York Yankees at Baltimore Orioles, Kekich and Palmer. Nan Brinkman and French do here in the ninth. I'm thinking about what to do with French. Nen's 0 for 3, struck out twice. Aker gets the sign from Swart. Here's the pitch to Nen, a 2 10. Base hit in the center field. Oh my goodness, and Nen finally comes up with something. For Dick Nan, that's just his second hit of the season. He came into the ball game 1 for 21, but he leads off with a base hit here. No threat to run, and here's Eddie Brinkman. French on deck. Let's check the Washington bench for catchers. They've got Casanova and Camille. They have two catchers on the bench. So most likely we'll see a pinch hitter for French. We've done our due diligence with the computer-only card. Brinkman, one for three. Aker from the stretch. Two-nine right-handed. He struck him out. Go ahead and run on first. One out, and we will have a pinch hitter now for Jim French. Let's look at the catching possibilities here. Casanova will be the catcher. Camille's not a bad hitter, though. We really like a left-handed hitter in this situation. Pinch hitter is going to be Bob Saverin. Casanova would come in and catch. Two E eight minus one. And here comes Bob Saverin, a switch hitter. Played just about every position but catcher that year. He played second, third, short, all three outfield spots. So everything but first and catcher. In the replay so far. Where is Saverin? He is 3 for 11. That's 273. Does not have a run batted in. Switch hitter batting left against Aker. Nen takes a cautious lead. Aker now from the stretch. The pitch to Bob Saverin. 3 5. Comebacker. Aker down to green to first, not in time. That'll be a force. So Saverin's aboard, and we'll have another pinch hitter, this time for Humphreys. Came in and got two out, so one and two. Wait a second here. Should be six and a third for McCormick, not six and two thirds. And then one and two thirds for Humphreys. Humphreys retired all five batters he faced, struck out two of them. Right-hander is coming up. Ron Klein gets loose for Washington. He was their closer. And like Humphreys, he also worked this game in real life. You can see in real life, Kansas City didn't use any substitutes. 
So Saverin's on first with two down. And we need another pinch hitter. And that's going to be Willie Kirkland. Kirkland, a left-handed hitter. Neither of these teams a particularly impressive bench. So here's the situation. Runner on first, two down in a tie ball game, top of the ninth. Kirkland off the bench to pinch hit for the pitcher. Left-hand batter now. Aker checks the runner from the stick. Pitch to Willie Kirkland. 4-5. It's a high fly ball to right field. He does have the power. Going back is Chavaria on the track and makes the catch. Oh, oh, oh my goodness. 4-5 lefty homer to 6. The roll is a 9. And Kirkland allowed out to right field, but he is indeed retired. No runs, a hit, one left on, and we go to the bottom of the ninth. And here comes Klein. Klein, a magnificent season, 23 saves, 2.39. In real life, he has two saves. He's 1-0 oh with a 4.66 in nine and two-thirds innings. I've noticed a lot of these bullpen cards underperforming their cards. That must be due to the late-inning drama that I have magically built into these dice. <laughs> I know, it freaking seems that way. It really does. It's going to be Harrelson, Hershberger, and Chavaria for Kansas City in the bottom of the ninth. Klein ready to work now. Harrelson 0 for 3 on the day. Klein the white. Here's the pitch to Harrelson. That's going to be a 3-10 right-handed. It's a base hit up the middle for Harrelson. And it's a leadoff single here to lead off the bottom of the ninth. Harrelson's got wheels, too. Klein, however, a minus five hold. And now Casanova's the catcher. So that'll cut him right down to a 13 without even holding him. They'll elect to not hold him. Would he try to steal one to 13 with the winning run? Many might. I can't do it. Probably should. In fact, they really should be holding him on, right? That, 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 just the fact that I'm thinking about stealing indicates to me that Washington should be holding Harrelson on, okay? So that's what they're going to do. That makes him a 1 through 11. That takes the thought right out of the equation. And here's Hershberger. Hershberger's 2 for 3 today. Klein, throw over to first base. Harrelson back to the bag. Now from the stretch, the pitch to Hershberger. 6-7 righty, swung on and missed strike three, and down goes Hershberger. Oh, my goodness, are we going to have extra innings today? Boy, that's a, that's a great hold, isn't it, Kenyon? Not only a great card, but a great hold. 5e6d, e, the fielding leaves a little to be desired, but it's not as bad as it sounds because most of the time to the pitcher, it goes to the error range anyway, so the 5 doesn't really come into play that often. Chavari is 0 for 2 with the walk down. Runner at first, 1 down. Klein looking over there, now from the stretch. Pitch to Aussie on a 2-7. Swung on and missed strike three. And Klein really bearing down now with the leadoff man on. He strikes out Hershberger and Chavaria. And here's Suarez now. Let's check. Let's check the Kansas City bench. They've got two other catchers. In fact, one of them could bat. That's what we're gonna do here. Suarez is just too bad. 
I can't let him bat in this situation. Roof's going to come in and hit and take over at catcher. Suarez also a terrible defensive catcher. Roof a 2E6 with a 0 at least. So here's Phil Roof, runner on first, two away. What has Roof done on the replay? Let's take a look. He hasn't played much. He's just 0 for 3 on the season. He's been in five games. Mostly a defensive replacement, it would appear. Klein ready to work to Roof now. Here's the pitch. That's a 2-5, swung on and missed, strike three, and Klein whiffs three in a row after the leadoff single by Harrelson, and we're going to extra innings. Holy crap, what a ball game. Roof stays in at catcher, of course. And here's Aker, three-rated reliever, beginning his third inning of work. It'll be his final inning regardless, as he's due to lead off the bottom of the 10th. Valentine, Blasson game, and McMullen for Washington. Here's Valentine now, 0 for 4 on the day. Aker. Getting the sign, now from Roof. Here's a one on the pitch. That's gonna be a two nine right-handed. Right in his good column, he hits a little number down to second. Green charges it, fields it, throws to Harrelson, one down. Oh my goodness, two nine righty, look at that. Ground to second. And here's Blasson game now, second baseman, left-handed batter. Two for three today, he's hit two doubles. And here's the windup and the pitch. It's a 5-5 five -five to the lefty, and it's a base hit into left field. Blasson game goes the other way, and he's three for four. So what a game by Don Blasson game. McMullen due up now. Frank Howard on deck. Out to the mound goes Phil Roof, trying to get on the same page here with Aker. Ken McMullen, one for four today. Standing in from the right side. Okay, Roof back behind the plate now. Aker from the stretch. The pitch to Ken McMullen. That's going to be a 2-10 right-handed. That's ripped over the bag and into the corner in left field. Holy cow. Hirschberger chasing it down. It bounces away from him. Here comes Blasson game rounding. He's going to score. And McMullen is in with an RBI triple. And it's 2-1 to one Washington. Oh, my goodness. Let's take another look. 210, righty, triple to five. The roll is a four. And Ken McMullen comes through again with a late inning dramatic hit. And now, one more hitter walk will fatigue Aker. And Frank Howard's at the plate. And they're not even going to mess around with him. They're going to make. They're going to put him on, and then call to the bullpen and bring in Lindblad. So an intentional walk to Howard. And here comes Lindblad. Two left-handers do up. And Alvin Dark is making the move. He now trails two to one. Two and a third innings for Aker. Four hits, one run so far. He walked one, and that was intentional just now, and he struck out a pair. So Howard's aboard on the intentional pass. Lindblad getting loose. Let's check the lefty stats in the replay.
He's been in seven ball games, no record, but a sterling 2.16 ERA in eight and a third innings. Jim King will bat. They want to keep his glove out there in right field. Nen could be another story, although they're running thin on the bench. Yeah, they don't really have much. They've got Chance, another left-handed hitter. They have Don Locke. That doesn't do him any good here. So here's King, one for four. Lindblad's ready to work now. Runners at the corners, one down. They'll be at double play depth. Or will they? Let's take a look. Yes, they definitely will. Left on left. Here's the pitch to King looking for two. One six. A liner speared by Harrelson. Oh, my goodness. And that's going to bring up Nen. Do they have anybody that could hit for Dan? They'd have to put Bob Chance at first. That's the problem with that. And they're going to pull Howard out of the game defensively for Locke. McMullen could move to first, but they don't have another. They could put Hamlin at third, where he's horrible. So Nen's going to hit, lefty on left. Two down. Two to one, Washington. There's the pitch to Nen. That's going to be a 3-3. It's a foul ball behind the plate. Back is Roof to make the catch. And that will do it. However, the Senators... Pushed across a run on two hits. Huge RBI triple by Ken McMullen. And Frank Howard will come out of the game now. And he'll be replaced by Don Locke, who will take over in center field. Locke, a 2E9 minus 2. And Valentine will move to left. Let's make sure that's legal. Yeah, sure it is. 3E8. Valentine better in left than he is in center. Now you got to get Howard's five out of there, that's for sure. And Klein's going to come out for his second inning. 23 saves in real life. Not a save situation. He stands He stands to win the game. Pinch hitter. Oh, I did it again, didn't I? Pinch hitter for Lindblad. Of course, with their bench being what it is, I'm not quite sure who he would. I guess he could have switched with Chavaria. And Stahl would have been in there. That's what I should have done. My apologies. That would have been the correct move. As it is, Stahl's going to come on and pinch hit. Not much left on these benches, I can tell you that. Larry Stahl, left-handed hitter. He's hitting just 192 on the season. Five for 26, only one run batted in. Left-handed hitter, Klein the windup. The pitch to stall, 4-7 lefty, swung on and missed strike three. And I've got that. That's four strikeouts in a row for Klein. Campaneros do up, tardable to follow. 
Campy Campaneris, one for four today. Klein staring in now. Two to one, Washington, bottom of the tenth. Here's the wind up on the pitch. That's going to be a 6-12 righty. It's a fly to left field X. That's Valentine, a 3-E-8. That would have been to Howard. 3-E-8, and here's the roll on the play. It's a 7. He makes the catch. What a running catch by Fred Valentine in left. You can see what would have happened if Howard were still out there. As it is, there's two down. And the Athletics are down to their last out. And here's Tartable, who does get another at bat. Ten-game hit streak on the line. He's 0 for 4. Left-handed batter, Klein, the sign from Casanova. Now the wind-up. The pitch to Tartable. It's a 4-6. Left-handed pops him up. That's going to do it. Blasting game with the catch, and that's the ball game. What a dominant two-inning relief performance by Ron Klein. Holy crap. What a game. Two to one, the final. And the Senators even their record at nine and nine. Kansas City drops to nine and ten. Klein picks up the win. He is 2-0 and now. Lindblad retired his only two batters. Aker takes the loss. For Jack Aker, that's his second loss of the season out of the pen. He's 0-2. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you, Franklin. Thank you, Kenyon. Thank you, everybody. I'll get you the totals here in a second. Klein allowed one hit. Struck out four in two innings. The Senators, victorious 2-1-10. to one in ten. They had two runs. Eight hits, no errors. Athletics had one run, seven hits, no errors. Tight game, man. That could have gone either way. God, I love this 60s baseball. I really do. You just don't see games like this anymore. Chief Spokane Gary, player of the game... It's got to be Ken McMullen. Two for five, the game-winning triple of the 10th inning. And that'll do it for me. I want to thank everybody for watching. Hit that like button for me. Peeking ahead on the schedule, tomorrow I'm going to have the Boston Red Sox at the Minnesota Twins. Jerry Stevenson on the mound for the Bo Sox. Camilo Pascal will take the mound for the Twins. So please join me for that. In the meantime, Spokane Steve wishing you all a very pleasant good evening. Take care, everybody. I'm going to jump over here in a minute and watch Jeffrey's game.